prototype automatic doghouse babysitter anybody that knows you can't take your pets everywhere this right here is actually going to be i guess you would call it nowadays carbon neutral but i'm using the solar panels as dual purpose roof there's about 1300 watts or 1.3 kilowatts of solar and i know for a fact that dogs love to be up off the ground it gives them security now this is just a prototype and i've learned from this prototype it'll be better to go five foot wide there's a the insulated doghouse that can put a heater in it so up here i can put a automatic waterer that has you know if you hook it up to a, a, a hose pipe it's indefinite fresh water for the dog so that and you put a uh, a 24 pound uh, dog feeder anybody should this here should be big enough for somebody with th this size right here would be big enough for a bigger dog Let's say you had a, uh, a couple of uh, Rottweilers or anything. Of course, you'd put a bigger doghouse in it. But, uh, you know, the five-footer, if you had, you know, three or four toy dogs, you could put one of these things out in your yard, and you could take off for 10 days or so, and as long as somebody just came by and, uh, you know, just made sure the dogs wasn't escaping or nothing... Your dogs could actually take care of themselves. It would have water, food. They would have a place off the ground. And uh, everything would be automated. Of course, they got underneath. So, like, as you can see, Troy there is demonstrating on a hot summer day. They got the underground where it would be actually really cool for them under there. And, uh, you know, at night, they want to get off the ground and sit up here and survey. Come here, Troy. I need a model. Come here and model this. Uh, come on. Get up here. Get up here and model. There you go. See, there's her, her little bed. So, uh, this is two foot off the ground. Now, the second prototype is only going to be five foot by eight foot. So I'll be able to transport these. I'll be selling these. I haven't come up with an exact cost, but I know if you want solar panels, it's going to be a lot more expensive. But with just a white metal roof on it, and a, you could get your own insulated doghouse. So even in the coldest winter time, there'll be heat in there or shade shade and heat uh might hook up a, a small fan you know uh set it on a thermostat up here so it only comes on like temperature gets above 90 degrees just to make sure there's always some kind of air circulation but yeah i know this leaks but when it rains real hard but it doesn't leak that bad and if it was raining real hard, of course, they go in the doghouse. But most of the time out here, they can just sit out. So I'm guessing one of these with solar panels, probably going to be about 2500 bucks. And without solar panels, probably about 1500 bucks. That's just a guesstimate. Now, if you wanted all the... Uh, batteries and all like that hooks up with it you're talking quite a bit more but uh right there we got it i'm gonna say let's just go for uh, let's just say a kilowatt so a kilowatt of solar and uh, easily easily be able to uh keep your dogs uh while you're gone on a trip for a couple of weeks even in the worst weather you wouldn't have to worry about the dogs so you would put something like this in your yard 
and put a fence around it you know about five foot off of each end maybe uh, five foot on each side and ten foot to the front so they have plenty of room to exercise and jump up and down but as you can see I know I know from that one way out back yonder that they love to be up off the ground so uh, they just like to sit up off the ground and like survey their kingdom so this is what I'm building and you can let me know in the comments if you think something like this would be worth uh, 1500 bucks without uh, of course without the solar panels we could build one of these deliver it to your backyard and uh, you could put the fence around it or of course I could uh, bring out something from tractor supply of course that would be extra money how fancy you want I mean you could put in a, a super fancy built on doghouse but I'm thinking just for the basic uh, thing about 1500 bucks with a sheet metal roof uh, anybody think that'd be worth it for a, a doghouse in their backyard uh, that would be uh, you know allow you to go on a trip you know go on a cruise or something you know where they can't bring pets so it's automatic fully automated dog care while the owner's gone.